Safety and technology has come a long way in the last 106 years since Ford Motor Company was started. Ford has always been on the leading edge of safety and technology. And the question has always been, how do you, ta how do you test safely? How do you make sure you're not putting the driver at risk? You're putting property at risk. You're gonna damage the vehicle. And what if you want to test out uh, what happens if a regular person, not a trained test driver, and you want to put them in an emergency situation and wonder how they handle it? Well, today we're going to find out how that's done. We are on our way to Ford of Dearborn's Research and Innovation Center, where we're going to try out their new Vertex simulator, which puts a full-size car in a full-motion simulator, and we'll be out testing out things such as lane departure, emergency maneuvers, and using complex cameras, sensors, and telemetry, they're gonna analyze my reaction to those types of events. Just as you would if you're really on the highway. So we're on our way now, and this is gonna be one awesome mission. Vertex Virtual Test Track Experiment. It's a motion-based driving simulator. Um, the whole dome moves on those six hydraulic pistons or actuators that are uh, down on the bottom of the simulator. Ford is the, uh, the only automotive manufacturer in North America that has this advanced of a motion-based driving simulator. And it becomes key, crucial, for a lot of the types of studies we do in here, active safety and uh, just some driver interactive, uh, human machine interface, HMI types of studies. So inside uh, of the dome, there's a car. Unfortunately, it's not a Mustang. We have a Taurus X inside. <laughs> Um, it's unfortunately, I should say it's not a Fiesta, right? Um, uh, we have a Taurus X inside, um, but the driver's in control. We study the driver in this lab. Okay. We don't do zero to 60 times for a vehicle or anything like that. We're studying the driver. So think of it to some degree as a big video game. Um, projectors in the top are projecting a virtual world on the inside walls that, uh, that it's a virtual world that the driver drives through. And uh, we create that world. Uh, we have control, complete control over that world. Um, except that the driver is driving through that world as it would. So turning the steering wheel, right, you, you drive, you turn through the virtual world, uh, hitting the accelerator pedal, the brake pedal, those types of things. Um, and we study either how the driver interacts either with the vehicle itself um, or the environment. And so a lot of the types of studies that we've been doing over the past few years has been active safety, things like lane departure warning. So if you're not paying attention and you suddenly start drifting out of your lane, what type of warning should you get that's effective to alert you to that fact and bring you back into your lane? Forward collision warning, uh, you're getting too close to the vehicle in front of you and uh, you're not slowing down. Um, should we flash a light? Should we play a sound? Should we vibrate okay. something? Yeah. What's the best combination? And we can bring people in here and maybe not tell them about it, set up some type of uh, drive event, if you mm -hmm. will, and then um, how do they react? How quickly do they decelerate, steer, to avoid that collision. Um, and, and then the results from this ultimately go out into the, the different vehicle programs, the, okay. you know, uh, the Ford product line to uh, be out in the vehicles and make our vehicles safer. finished up with the uh, Vertex Simulator. We're now on our way over to the um, headquarters of SVT for some really fun stuff. Now we can't take our cameras into SVT and behind in the workshop to show you what they're working on, but 
maybe we can get you something special. I don't know, GT500, Raptor, just wait and see. We've got some good stuff going on. Well, it's, it's obvious from looking at the pictures I saw in the, um, in the brochure, the suspension is designed to work. It's right. not an afterthought. It was designed this way to be functional. This isn't like I added an off-road sports sticker to the back and uh, and maybe some shocks. I mean, this is this is the real deal. Right, and and obviously the focus of all the engineering and development work on this truck was in the suspension. Yes. And I just put it in off-road mode. Okay. And what that does is when you get on it, really get on it, it'll hold the RPMs instead of automatically upshifting. Really. So that yeah, so that when you're going down the road and you're really you know going at a good clip off-road. And you're coming up on a bend, you lift off the gas, and it'll you'll still be in the power band when you get back on it. Okay. But this also changes um, this st or the stability control settings. Okay. It lets you stick the tail out. Um, it changes the um, the ABS engagement. Okay. So that once you get below a certain speed, the ABS actually doesn't even work, and the front wheels lock up, so you can wedge dirt. Oh, okay. All that's, right. that's how you stop. I mean, if you're off-road and you have ABS on, you slam on the brakes, you're not going to stop. You're just going to keep going. Right. Because it's constantly going to be pulsing. But this changes the ABS threshold to actually allow some lock-up. And, that, and that once you get a low enough speed, it actually lets the wheels lock up. Okay. All right. We are now in a 2010 GT500. And we are going for a drive. We'll see how this compares to the almighty Fiesta find out. Let's start this thing up. Let's see what the horsepower sounds like. It's missing the push to start button. Yeah, the Fiesta starts here. They did their homework with this car. Right There's no doubt. Southfield. All I can say is I want this style, this short of a throw shifter, inside the Fiesta. That's what we need. Well, the horsepower is kind of good too, but this shifter... That does sound... <laughs> Ooh, the horse has got you. <laughs> I tell you, if that ever gets old, I am going to be a sad man. <laughs> that should never get old. All I can say is, this car is absolutely amazing. 